So the exciting thing about the fellowship at Indiana University is that we're housed in the Department of Emergency Medicine, a very well, large, established department, but we work in a freestanding children's hospital and are fully immersed in the culture of the Department of Pediatrics as well. So when you come here, you become a member of both the Department of Emergency Medicine and the Department of Pediatrics. Because of that, you um, will get a lot of um, emergency medical services training as well as disaster training that is um, probably focused on here a little bit more than it is in Department of Pediatrics training programs. Um, we have ultrasound and um, all of the other areas of interest in pediatric emergency medicine, but those I would highlight because they're strong in the Department of Emergency Medicine. As part of training here, we have three level one trauma centers, all within about a two mile radius, mile and a half radius. Um, our two uh, all comers emergency departments both see a, a lot of patients. They are very busy emergency departments with lots of volume. Um, and our pediatric emergency department is also very busy and it's growing a ton every year. And we see, uh, you know, all of the trauma from around the state comes here. And so we really get to see things that I think a lot of other uh, institutions don't get to see just because of our catchment area. Additionally, since we are housed under the Division of Emergency Medicine, we also have um, a robust ultrasound course, simulation, disaster medicine, and you really get exposure to a lot of different aspects of emergency medicine um, through this large division. There's resources for pretty much anything you would be interested in um, at Riley. Most patients in Indiana, the entire state, that need any sort of subspecialty care um, come to Riley for their care. And so you're seeing patients from all over, which means you catch all different kinds of um, medical issues that these patients have, while also treating patients in the local community. So you get both subspecialty care experience and really, really great bread and butter pediatrics. We admit over a thousand patients each year to our pediatric ICU. Um, and so we have a trauma volume that's about 1,500 trauma patients a year. So we've got a complex um, a sick patient population, and that's the population that you're doing a pediatric emergency medicine fellowship to train with. As a pediatric emergency medicine physician, I spend most of my time, most of my clinical shifts here at Riley, um, and it is a top-notch facility. Um, we see very complex kids, um, high uh, acuity patients, um, it is again very much a community feel. Um, we work closely with um, people in all specialties and people get along really well, which is really nice. It's really like a family. We really do look out for each other. Um, the fellows are integrated into our department as junior faculty from day one. And so we really want you to take control of your education. The fellows will know all the faculty members. They'll be able to call the faculty members at home. We do things as a group together. We really involve the fellows in every aspect of our division and of the emergency department at Riley. You're part of the family when you come here. You're not a fellow. You're not a second class citizen, uh, you know, uh, less than or anything like that. You are part of our family. We treat you as part of our faculty. I think that our faculty here are one of the biggest assets that we have. Our faculty are so unique, so diverse, and have such varying interests that you as a fellow can find someone who can mentor you. If you're interested in quality improvement, if you're interested in simulation, if you're interested in pediatric ultrasound, we have a pediatric emergency ultrasound fellowship. So we have the faculty here who can train you and give you those experiences to help start your career. We have enough resources through the Department of Emergency Medicine and within our own faculty at Riley that we can help guide you to whatever interest you may have, whether it be disaster medicine, clinical education, medical education, um, or other assets of that. But we have a robust faculty and core group that can get you wherever you need to go. Our fellows also, we have a very strong research program here, and so our fellows are able to um, uh, participate in, in a variety of research projects. And I think our uh, research potential is really in its infancy, and so we're adding a lot of more um, large national research studies 
uh, across our staff. And so I think this is gonna give our fellows a lot more opportunity to be involved in, um, in research. Every year we host a disaster day that our EMS fellows help train the emergency mes medicine residents and our pediatric emergency medicine fellows. And we have a training facility in Southern Indiana. We take our fellows down there and essentially run them through different scenarios and curriculum to get them used to triaging and treating patients that, that would be involved in a uh, mass casualty event. I was in Las Vegas when the October 1st shooting happened and there is hundreds of people that came to the hospital all at once. There is a lot of kind of chaos, a lot of people came to the hospital all at once. There's more than two or three hundred patients that just filled the ER. And so there's a lot of people that were going around and repeating work that other people were already doing. Nobody had a system set up. Um, and so this is nice because it's teaching me how to do that, how to have a system, how to triage. Um, and so yeah, just learning a lot from that for because it'll sadly probably happen again in the future. We also have a, a, a day where our EMS fellows train our emergency medicine residents. We call it EMS Day. And today our residents and our pediatric emergency medicine fellows are learning how the fire department does extrication of patients. It allows our residents and people that work in the emergency department to understand what our first responders do in order to get our patients to us in the emergency department. So it gives them a better understanding of what what actually happens before they get to the hospital. Um, I think all the time we're in the hospital setting, we get EMS and paramedics coming in with kids, but we don't know exactly what was done on scene. And so this is a really good exposure experience to see what they actually do. And then the child comes in and we can actually have an idea of the trauma before. We really want people who are really looking to expand their clinical opportunities and also people who um, are interested in becoming a pediatric emergency medicine expert and educator. So um, we don't just teach you here to become clinical experts, but also to become um, great educators. We have you teaching med students and other residents, um, and then also researchers. And you even have the opportunity to get administrative um, experiences also. But I guarantee you, when you get here, you're gonna be exposed to lots of things that are gonna just rock your world. You're gonna see things that you won't see at other places. Um, you're going to see and be exposed to faculty that have different interests that you may not find at other places. And I think that the hospital really is seen within the community as the best of the best. And, and I think that's really one of the fun things about working at Riley is it's very well respected in our community. 